Welcome to Manazone HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by men's soccer head coach, Tom Foley. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Nate. So, since the last time we talked to you on the coach's show, we had a nil-nil draw at the College of Charleston Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And then last night, we had a 3-1 to -one come from behind victory against William & Mary. So, first off, could you talk about those matchups a little bit? Uh, well, you know, in the past two matches, that's, uh, those are good results for us uh, in CA play. Uh, the College of Charleston match was a pretty even game uh, from a standpoint of shots and opportunities from both teams. And it's a CAA a road game, so to be able to get one point on the road uh, against the CAA opponent is a, is a good result. And the guys uh, hung tough and uh, made it through another overtime match, which I think was their third or fourth in a row fourth. Uh, at that point. So, again, it was a good good road result. Uh, and then we came back to uh, play against William and Mary last night, went down a goal in the first half, uh, but again, the guys responded very well in the first half by scoring a goal themselves, with Toby Appleton putting one over the goalkeeper's head underneath the bar, and then uh, with two goals in the second half to secure victory. Uh, so it was a, it was a good two game stint for us. And now we only have four games left in the regular season, three in CAA against CAA opposition. How does your mindset or maybe strategy at all change now that we're headed down the home stretch? Well, it's not so much that the strategy changes. The, the mindset is definitely something that's changed amongst all of us, the guys on the team as well as the staff, from a standpoint that every CAA, CAA point is so valuable. Uh, so, again, we go on the road this week against Elon, uh, and so anywhere from one to three points is, is a good result for us on the road, uh, and it puts us in a good, favorable position in the CAA standings. Uh, so our effort is to try to do the best we can in each one of the CAA matches. And uh, so the mindset is a little different that we think every match is more of a tournament type atmosphere where you're trying to get a result and not just survive the match, but get a result. Uh, and so hopefully we'll do well. Yeah, I noticed uh, doing a little research today that we have one loss in our last seven games, which is great. But a big part of that is uh, Kyle Morton, our redshirt junior goalkeeper, mm -hmm. currently leads the CAA in goals allowed average with at 0.91. Uh, what does he, as well as sort of the defensive back line, mean to the team uh, thus far? Well, it's uh, the, the defensive side of the ball is very important to us. Uh, it's kept us in matches. It's kept us in the CA uh, kind of points total to be in third place right now. Uh, so Kyle's done as, as best he can, and he's kept us in games. But the thing about the defensive side of the ball is it's been a team effort. Uh, it's been a team effort from the back four through the midfield, uh, and it's something that we've worked heavily on over the, the beginning of the season, but you started to see those good defensive results uh, midway through the season and obviously in the stretch that we just had. So uh, Kyle's played his part in that, but he, I'm sure as a goalkeeper he wants to thank his defenders and his midfielders uh, and everybody for that matter because our strikers come back on free kicks. We've done a better job as of late defending set pieces, so uh, I think it's been a team effort to do that. And now going forward, we have two more matches this week. Uh, upcoming week, we have at Elon mm -hmm. and then at Lehigh. So what are your thoughts going into those two matches? Well, the, the first thing is we go game by game, as always. So uh, our first thoughts are against the uh, against Elon. And uh, it's about we had a good training session today. Uh, and we'll have another good training session tomorrow and then travel down and get prepared to play them on Saturday. And again, it's a mindset of trying to come away with one to three points uh, on the road. And then after that, we'll evaluate where we are and look at Lehigh at that point. But, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity to uh, have success against a non-conference team uh, and to continue to improve upon that uh, part of our schedule. So uh, both matches will provide different challenges, uh, but the first one that we're going to concentrate on is...